leading up uh, to this, you know, the, to the match on Saturday, was there any like um, any footage of like a specific mm-hmm. wrestler that you would watch to get like a little bit of inspiration on like your ring style? You know, I have watched a variety of different wrestlers um, for a variety of different reasons. Um, different guys have had great, um, great things to look at and study. Um, as the character being me, genuine to me, there's no single guy that I would say that I'm replicating. There are definitely people that I have looked at and taken things like their intensity or the way that they'll stand and play and not stand, but the way that they'll be like an imposing figure. Um, you know, Brock's a great example of a guy who was an MMA fighter, a very dominant, big, strong wrestler, MMA fighter that came to professional wrestling and was able to really kind of show that style in a way that made it work. So I absolutely watched a lot of Brock Lesnar, watched a lot of Kurt Angle, watched a lot of Chris Benoit, watched, watched a lot of Eddie Guerrero, uh, and all for a variety of different reasons. Um, I'm a big fan of a lot of old school stuff. I've watched a lot of um, a lot of Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Brennan. Those guys had had some great matches. Um, man, a, a lot of I've, I've watched a ton of professional wrestling. Um, and it definitely helps watching some of the greats do it. And that's where I would find things. Hey, move over. No, move over. You're going to spill my drink. Move over. Move over. Um, Ric Flair, another guy. Jake the Snake, you know, promos with Jake the Snake. Um, or even like the way Jake the Snake, when they'd set up the DDT and how much everyone would be like, whoa. <laughs> we all knew, like, whoa. You know, where it teases it. And then when he'd finally hit the DDT at the end and the guy had been so scared, like, he grabs the head of the guy, like, you know, when he finally hits it, everyone's like, oh, bam, that's it. One, two, three. Now a guy will do a tornado DDT off the top rope on a dude. <laughs> on two, you know, which, again, not a different flavor of wrestling, but mm-hmm. instead of burying the DDT, they built it up by not landing it. It didn't land. It didn't land. It didn't land. And then when it did land, it's like, oh, my God, that's got to be it. Same thing they did with Shawn Michaels' super kick. You know, when it hit, it was a big fucking deal. When it's not a big deal, then it just gets buried, you know. Um, but so I, there are a variety of guys I watch. Jake the Snake, man, the way that he can change his tones and, and intensities through his stuff. Um, Hulk Hogan's another guy who's really able to get people behind him in, in his talking. Like Hulk Hogan's finisher was a big boot and a leg drop. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying Hogan couldn't wrestle, but Hulk Hogan was Hulk Hogan before he get outside of the ring. How yeah, and so watching a guy like that and studying a guy like that, Ric Flair's another guy. But man, The Rock is another guy. You know, who The Rock is a guy who's been put in a variety of different positions, you know, where he played a handful of different type of roles, you know. Um, so there's just been some man, it, it'd be really hard to Johnny Saint. I could I could just keep going. There's <laughs> been so and that's why I like to say that my coach has really, really, really prepared me for this this debut and a career in a long-term career in professional wrestling. Um, I haven't just, like, and people think, Oh, debut is new, blah, blah, blah. Like, and I'm, and I know what they're going to say after they watch it. Like, Holy shit. That's his first match. No way. I know that's what people are going to say, but it's because I'm so prepared. You know, my coach did a fantastic. And that's why, again, I said, but with having such great coaching is my coach would give me homework. We'd talk about it. So I'd have conceptual understandings of things. Um, like I said, like I just broke down uh, Jake the Snake trying to land the DDT and come in close a few times. And it being a big deal, he finally landed it. It was like, oh, bam, that's got to be it. You know, and being able to then apply these type of concepts potentially in my own genuine way. Or like I said, Hulk Hogan, Hulkamaniacs, Bulletproof Troopers, Bulletproof Troop Bets. He had yellow red. I got camouflage, you know, like where it's, it's building a whole uh, – looking at a bunch of different people that were successful in the business that I'm in and, and trying to find ways to do some of the things that they did, but genuine in my own way. Like, I'm not out here – like, you know, I'm not stealing their shit. I'm not calling my people any acts. But, like, a, you know, Bulletproof Troopers, Bulletproof Troop Bets, it's the same concept. It's just an, an original and genuine application of those things. And by studying a bunch of the greats over a lot of different generations of professional wrestling, I feel like I've really been able to, to put something pretty, pretty awesome together with my coach, particularly with the direction of my coach and areas that he, he would kind of assign me to figure out about myself and, and how I could 
you know, because he can't. He's like, here's what we should do with your brand. Like, that's not how it works. It'd be more like, man, here's some, here's some ideas. We need to think of ways to build this stuff. You know, like, um, you know, like I'm pushing the America stuff, the red, white, and bulletproof. United we stand. Like, I've got a handful of like very American slogans and things that I've I've added to my brand that I'll be showing because I want to. I'm a bulletproof troop. I'm like in, in a, basically military gear. I want to get soldiers behind my brand and stuff. And that's a, a group of people I support a lot. So with direction from my coach about things like that, I'm able to then go out and create things where we work together very well because of his knowledge in the field. He can give me a bunch of very fantastic direction to let me then creatively go. And that's genuine to me, you know, um, mm-hmm. and, and that's what makes it so fun, you know, and I'm, I'm really passionate about it. And I think it really shows when I do the stuff or probably when I talk about it, you know, Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, well...